I just wanted to say thank you, Steve. It is very cordial. And you point out, I want to thank you personally for writing that letter. Um, but what I would like to ask both of you publicly, if you would, if they do not allow the four candidates who are on the ballot, I would ask that you both abstain from partaking in that as a show of solidarity. Would you like to do that? reach out to WMUR and uh, yeah and so we, we both have we both have been trying to fight this fight for them and uh, oh, I shouldn't say fight it for you but be a part of the fight for them because we do think it's important for to have them included um, they're fine candidates and they should be included so to answer your question um, I like Steve will continue to fight very hard to get you on there but at the end of the day um, the voters are going to have to have something to distinguish candidates by. And so, whether it's WMUR, another opportunity to debate with you, I would, you know, whatever it is, I want to make sure that we, you know, offer you the opportunity just like we've had, you know. And so, um, but Steve, I, I don't know about you with your campaign and, and you know, how do you. It's, it's a tough question. I'll be honest with you. It right? is a it's, very, it's a very tough, tough question. question. And, you know, we want to stand with you guys. Yeah. Well, I know it's not simple, but sometimes on principle, it's important to stand on principle. That's all I'm asking. No, and, and I totally understand that. But then we also have an electorate out there that needs to hear from the candidates. So I would offer that we should be able to debate again. And, you know, we still have 11 days. Are we 11 days out? So I'll take a debate every night if we need to do that to make sure you guys get your voices heard. Thank you. Thank you both. You like your closing statement? Well, before that, whoops, is this on? There we go. Before that, I do just want to say we could always just tell WMUR that we, as the GOP of CD2, did have our debate, a debate hosted by our lovely hosts over here, and this debate they can re-air it on their system if they want. There you go, there's your CD2 debate, WMUR. That's how the voters can find out about all the candidates. As to my closing statements, I want to ensure that America, as we know it, is able to survive in the future. We've seen what's been happening in our cities. We've seen what the Democrats have called for. We've seen the far militant radicalization that they are willing to promote and not condemn because they want to claim power and bring socialism here to America. As your next congressman, this isn't so much about me. This is about you, the people of CD2. The people who have been deprived of a voice thanks to Ann Custer. The people who when I speak to you and when I look into your eyes, I see the concern that you have for the future of our nation. All we have to do is turn on the news, see what's being aired, see what's been happening across the nation, and realize this is a fundamental issue that must be resolved. We had a lot of great questions asked of us today, yet all of that will fall by the wayside if we as a nation allow another generation of America's youth to be raised to the socialist indoctrination that the liberals have constructed. We as the GOP, we need to ensure that we are not only worried about this election. Yes, we want to get President Trump reelected. However, we need to look beyond as well. We need to lay the foundation today for what we are going to do for the 2024 election to ensure that American youth are provided the opportunity to hear both points of view, rather than the overwhelming majority of what they hear being the liberal socialist propaganda. Here in New Hampshire, 
40% of the state has decided that they do not align with either the Republicans nor the Democrats. And yet this is despite the fact that over 90% of the media and the news that they consume is the leftist agenda. If we had even slightly more balanced representation, that 40% who say that they do not believe in Republican ideals because of what they're being fed by the corrupt media, they would vote red up and down the ticket, thereby ensuring freedom for the future of America. And that is why I'm running this race. And that is what I will defend as your next congressman. So here at Clever for Congress, vote for me if you want liberty. Thank you very much. Great to be here. Thank you. And I've been asked to make a very, very quick programming announcement that uh, both the Merrimack County GOP as well as YCN Television are going to do their best to make sure that this particular debate is spread as far and as wide as possible. And if it's concern about coverage, uh, and if the decision is made to forego the WMUR debate, that uh, this particular debate here will absolutely be spread, and if we need to do another one, we will do that as well. It's important that the message gets out, but the, it's important that the message not be controlled by the only major affiliated television station in the entire state. That concludes tonight's New Hampshire Republican 2nd Congressional District Candidates Debate. Special thanks to Eli Clemmer, Matt Bajillabrick, Lynn Blankenbecker, and Steve Negrin. On behalf of the Merrimack County GOP, we wish to thank uh, the uh, Loudoun Country Club for hosting us, YCN Television for filming, Andrew Georgievitz for the sound, and for everybody who had help, who lent a helping hand to make this possible tonight. Thank you. God bless America. God bless the state of New Hampshire. Have a great night.